and, and injured by a neighbor's pet monkey while in her own front yard yesterday afternoon. Fox 25 Sarah Smith spoke with the victim who calls the experience traumatizing. She has the story from Dixon tonight. Dixon police say this is one of the most unusual calls they have ever received. A monkey launching a surprise attack on a woman sending her to the hospital. I was sitting here and I'm in this exact spot and I looked out the window and there was a monkey looking at me and I said, oh my God, there's a monkey. And I took a second take and I was like, there's a monkey on the front porch. Brittany Parker says she was stunned. He was trying to get into my house. Uh, the little button that you push in on your screen door, he had broke it off. I was literally hanging on to the door trying to hold my door closed. Parker says she called police and went outside when officers got there. That's when she was attacked. He crawled, jumped up my back and landed on my head, got on my head and grabbed handfuls of hair and just ripped it out and then ripped my ear almost completely off of my head. Police say the monkey ran off after the attack. As we were looking for this, uh, this primate, uh, two shots were fired. Uh, they did come from the area of the victim's residence. Um, officers went back and responded back to that residence and then found that a family member of the victim had uh, shot the primate. Parker and police say they didn't know someone had a pet monkey. Friends of the monkey say his name was Jack. They sent us these videos. It's scary. It's absolutely scary. Very traumatizing. Parker says because of her injury, she can't work. She says she will need plastic surgery. Parker also worries about her family's safety. Do I let my child go outside and play and be a normal child? Or do I need to worry every time that we step outside that we're going to be attacked by something? Um, it's very traumatizing. It's very scary. Police here say having the monkey is not illegal. The owner's name has not been released, but the case has been turned over to the district attorney. Reporting in Dixon, Sarah Smith, Fox 25 News.